Hey and welcome to section 8.2, Multiplying a Polynomial by a Monomial, Part 1. Well, first, let's remember that when we multiply two variables together, what do we have to do with these exponents? Right, we're talking about the exponents. We have to add these exponents. So we have t to the 8th because we added the exponents. We added the exponents. It's going to be important. Now, remember what we would do with this? where we have a couple variables or uh, some numbers inside the parentheses and a 4 outside the parentheses, we would use a distributive property. So we'd take that 4 to the t to get 4t. And then we'd also take the 4 to the t squared to get negative 4t squared. And this is what we're going to be doing today. We're basically going to be working with the distributive property just on steroids. So let's go. Now, for number one, we have 2x cubed times, 2x cubed is the monomial, and now times a polynomial of x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x. So let's knock this out. So I'm going to take this 2x cubed, that whole thing, and I'm going to take it times x cubed. Now, when I multiply my numbers, only talking about the numbers right now, I have a 2 because I'm multiplying the numbers. Here's a 1 in front, so it's a 2. Now x to the what power? Remember when we multiply the same variable, we add the exponents. So I have a power of, or I have an exponent of, 6. Then plus, now I take that 2x cubed again times everything inside. So the 2 times the 3 is 6. And now be very careful, x cubed times x squared is x to the Fifth, again, when we multiply variables, we add the exponents. And then finally, make sure that's a negative sign. Negative 4, because 2 times 2 is 4. x to the what power? We add up the exponents, and so it's x to the fourth. Let's try another example. Now I'm going to take a negative 5a squared. So I'm taking all of that, and I'm taking it times that guy. To give me now a negative times a negative makes a positive 20a to the, and what do we have to do with the exponents? We have to add the exponents when we multiply. We add the exponents when we multiply, we multiply the numbers. Now I'm taking it times here. So it's going to be minus negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. a squared times a is a cubed. And then finally for the last guy, taking it times a negative 7, so a negative times a positive, or sorry, a negative times a negative is a positive, 5 times 7 is 35, there is no variable here, so we just have to make sure we still have a a squared. Next with number 3, now we have an x and a y, so we have to be careful here because we have to multiply both of those exponents, so let's go ahead and try it. 6xy times 4x cubed y squared. Remember, number times a number, that's 24. And now again, x and x is x to the fourth because we added those exponents. There's an exponent of 1 here and an exponent of 1 there. So now y times y cubed, or y squared is y cubed. Now I'm going to take that times the next guy. I'm going to take it times the 9, so it's a negative 54. x times x squared is x cubed. y times y is y squared. And then finally, I take it times 7 to get negative 42. And then x, y. And now even some more. Now you might see a couple polynomials multiplied by a uh, polynomial. And then you have to simplify. So let's see if we can simplify. So first things first. Remember, you have to multiply it here. So it's going to give us negative 8. We add the exponents. P cubed. We multiply the number. So it's plus 10P squared. Now we're moving on to the next one. I'm taking that negative 5 with it. So it's negative 5 times a 2p squared, which is negative 10p squared. 
and then here times here is minus 100. Now we simplify this whole mess. Are there any like terms? Well, I have a positive 10p squared, and I have a negative 10p squared, if that looks like a p squared. Well, what do they do? They cancel out, so that's gone. I have no other like terms, so now I'm left with negative 8p cubed minus 100. Let's try the next guy. Now I just have a lone 3 times this. It's just going to be 15x squared times the 2x. It's going to be plus 6x because I'm multiplying that 3 times the 2 and I multiply the 3 times the negative 4 to give me a negative 12. Now careful here because we have a negative x. So now I take that negative x times here to make it a negative 7x cubed because you add the exponents when you multiply here it's going to be a minus 2x squared. Again, adding the exponents, adding the exponents, not multiplying the exponents, adding the exponents, only multiplying the numbers, minus 3x. Again, simplify. I still have, or this is my only, negative 7x cubed. Now I do have a couple x squared terms right here. And right here, I have a positive 15x squared and a negative 2x squared. So that turns into plus 13x squared. Here is a positive, covered up by my box, positive 6x. Here is a minus 3x. Those, can't, or those combine to be plus. And actually, I caught myself here. This should be a plus 3. So this should be a plus 9x. And then finally, minus 12. Two more here. And now we are throwing in a equation sign. So now we actually have to solve for something. Well, again, we first want to distribute everything that we can. So I'm going to distribute that B to make it 12B plus, remember we're multiplying the variables. We add up the exponents to make it plus B squared that 7, now we have to be careful because that 7 is not inside the parentheses, so it's just still minus 7, equals, again, this 2b is not in the parentheses, plus, now we have to take it here and here again to have a minus 4b plus b squared. Now let's simplify some things. Let's get the variables to one side, the numbers to the other. I'm going to start with my highest exponents. I'm taking this b squared. I'm going to move it to the other side. How do you move that to the other side? You have to use subtraction. So I'm subtracting b squareds on both sides. I'm going to be left with a 12b. Now, b squared minus b squared. If you have an apple and take away an apple, what do you have? You have no apples. So it's minus 7 equals bringing everything down. 2b. Now I combining the sign to make a minus 4b. That is gone. Now we simplify. We're simplifying here. I'm going to simplify this side to give us a negative 2b equals 12b minus 7. And I could have simplified. I could have simplified it right here if I would have uh, saw it earlier. But I simplified down here, which is fine. Now I'm going to bring this b over here because I already have a number here. If I brought this b over there, I would have to move that number. So I'm just going to take this number. I'm going to take this negative 12 and subtract over that negative 12b. So I'm subtracting over that b. This cancels out. Bring down the negative 7 equals negative 14b. How can you get that negative 14 away from the b? You have to divide it out, of course. So we're dividing by a negative 14, which gives me b equals negative 7 divided by negative 7. So it turns into a positive 7 fourteenths. Or b equals, when we simplify, 1 half for your final answer. Now, how could we check this? We could check it by plugging it in for each b that you see at the top of your problem. So we could plug it in here, here, there, there, and there. And it would have to come out up 
it would have to come out the same answer on this side and this side to work. So let's try one more, number seven. Again, we have a equation sign, so we have to solve for something. We have to get the variable by itself. We have to get the t by itself. So I'm going to take this seven times everything in there. So it's seven t squared plus 35t minus 63 and then plus t because it was not in the parentheses. Now I have to distribute this t so it's 7t squared minus 2t as I draw my arrow and then plus 13. Now let's clean up some things so it doesn't look so hectic. Well I have no like terms until I get here and there so I have 7t squared plus 36t minus 63 equals 7t squared minus 2t plus 13. Now let's move, start moving things to the other side. Well, I'm going to subtract this 7t over to this side. So I'm combining my t squares. I'm going to cross the equal sign, so I have to undo it. Well, now here's the nice part, because this is gone, and this cancels out. So bring down what I have left, 36t, bringing down the minus 63 equals the negative 2t plus 13. Now I'm going to move this t across the equal sign, so since I have to move it across, I am undoing that subtraction, so I'm adding the 2t over to the other side to get 38t minus 63 equals 13. Add the 63 over to the other side to get 38t equals 76. Now what do you have to do to both sides? You have to divide by 38 and divide by 38 because we have to do un undo multiplication. And so finally t equals over here on the side t equals 2 for your final answer. And again how would you check this? I would plug this 2 in for that t, that t, this t on that side and also here, here. And then they should come up with the same side or they have to come up with um, the same number if this, if this t, if this 2 solves the equation. They would come up with the same number. And that does it for part er, section 8.2, multiplying a polynomial by a monomial. Good day.